When you write an application, your code needs to connect to the database and query it. Broadly speaking, there are two options for making this happen. Drivers. The first option is to use a database driver, a library that lets you write SQL queries explicitly, talking to the database through a connection created by the driver, which then maps the results into objects in your code. Examples include libpq for C, pg for JavaScript, and psychopg2 for Python. A driver is a relatively simple to learn object if you already know SQL, and if you can write efficient SQL queries, you can be assured that the database will perform well. Moreover, because it's explicit in the code what the SQL is and when the queries are sent, it's straightforward to trace the logic when necessary. The disadvantages are, one, that you have to write your own SQL queries into the code base, and two, related to that, the data in your code probably uses an object-oriented model, while your database stores data using a relational model. Those aren't the same, and some developers, even very good ones, can find it mentally jarring to switch between data models and languages when writing code. ORMs. The other option for connecting to a database is an ORM, or Object Relational Mapper. An ORM is a framework library for connecting and working with relational data, but unlike a driver, an ORM doesn't require you to write SQL because it generates queries and sends them to the database for you. Examples include Hibernate for Java and SQL Alchemy for Python. The advantage of an ORM is also its disadvantage. You don't have to write any SQL, at least initially. This often means a smaller, terser code base. And moreover, because developers work with objects that the ORM is linked to the database rather than SQL, they can usually stay in the object-oriented world without having to try to think relationally. These are some serious benefits, and ORMs often deliver, but they do have some downsides. A minor downside is that it takes some time to learn the framework for each ORM, and unlike SQL, the knowledge doesn't perfectly translate from one ORM to another, so ORM knowledge is less portable than SQL. Additionally, ORMs don't always write streamlined queries, so performance is likely to be a concern, especially for complex workloads. Then, when something does go wrong, it can be a bit more difficult to identify the problem and to implement a solution because the ORM hides the SQL from you by design. Moreover, to fix a bad query, you often need to explicitly write a better one for the ORM into your code base. When this happens, you've lost the major benefits that brought you to the ORM in the first place, at least for that portion of the code, because you still have to know and write that SQL, or possibly a framework-specific query language, into your code. Drivers versus ORMs. Comparing drivers and ORMs can be difficult, for existing projects, the best choice is probably whatever the project is already using. When you have to choose, though, if, well, for simple cases where scale isn't likely to be an issue, either are probably fine. But for software that requires complex queries to run at scale, a driver will probably be less trouble in the long run. Let's review. There are two types of libraries developers use to connect to a database, drivers and ORMs. A driver is used for writing and sending SQL queries directly, while an ORM is a framework that will generate and perform SQL queries implicitly unless you explicitly tell it otherwise. And that should give you a sense of the two main approaches developers use to connect their code to a code base. <laughs>